Well, first their homes flooded. Now they're dealing with a health hazard. KPIX 5's Maria Medina is in Hollister, where they're being told, don't drink the water. One day after the storm moved out, officials began knocking on doors here, handing out bottled water, warning people their well water could be contaminated. John Bianchi and his neighbors on Lover's Lane are trying to get back to their normal lives. After this week's storm flooded hundreds of acres of farmland, stranded livestock, and damaged homes. It was like 3 in the morning, I got woken up. The rising water that took over his street and the crews who rescued nearly 50 people were something John had never seen. His family's lived here for a long time. It took cars and just turned them. Really? It was that strong? It was that strong and deep, yeah. Now, San Benito County workers fear sewage and agricultural runoff, pesticides, and anything else from the flood could have gotten in their drinking water when the Pacheco Creek flooded and broke the levee. I guess you can't boil it either, that's what I've heard. You can't even boil we it? We can't even boil it to drink it, yeah. About 100 homes may be affected, including Lover's Lane, where John lives. But as the cleanup continues, they know there's another round of rain just around the corner. I have my grandparents live down there. I have you know, several neighbors here, so if they have anything, any problem, we just go help each other out. And the water could be so contaminated that people are being told not to even give their livestock water. There's no timeline on when their water could be safe again. In Hollister, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.